morning. This is Log 617. Last day for this incredible Jeep. I'm on PCH headed north. Kathy is in front of me a little ways. She's driving the all new Bolt EV and I'm driving the Wagoneer. Heading up to the Murphy today. We're gonna be taking this car back. But while we're there, we're gonna show you guys another incredible vintage trailer. There's all kinds there. And as you know, as you've been there with me before in the past, anything can show up at any time. And speaking of things showing up, I do know there's one interesting movie car that's gonna be showing up while we're there. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I can't get it in reverse. <laughs> I did what you told me to do. Put it in neutral. It's there. Press the button. Bring it to you. Oh. oh, is the car on? Or did you turn it off? It's on. Is it? Is your foot on the on the brake? Yeah. Better wait for me to go first. All right, I'm gonna go get some gas. Okay. up. Kathy's ahead of me now. Out of some interesting cars on the road today. Once again, it's a foggy day in Malibu, but not for long. I like it. It's a cool, lot, huh? Actually, all right. Quiet. It, 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 you, you can. You have to really watch the speed because it's so easy to speed. <laughs> you know, you just like keep going. All right, let's get it's some great. coffee. Oh, what are you getting? It's a coffee place. David, uh, we're at the Murphy, and what did you just say? Uh, July 22nd is our Corvair uh, car show. Corvair car show, July 22nd. Uh, mark it on your calendar. That's gonna be cool. But right now, we're gonna look around a little bit and we're gonna check out a very awesome trailer. I have no idea what it is. It's gonna be a surprise. incredible cars here at the Murphy. This one's getting restored. That one under wraps.
How's it going, David? Doing fantastic. Uh, once again at the Murphy, uh, there is something really shiny right behind us. Uh, another incredible trailer. How many trailers do you have total? Uh, we have six in here right now. And But they're always changing. But it's, uh, they're always changing. Stuff's coming in, stuff's going out. So. Yeah, and the, the trailer uh, event that happens in Buellton, that's in September? That's September 24th. Yeah, year. we'll be there doing that. There'll be 195 trailers there. That's a lot of vlogs. That's a, that's a lot. <laughs> a lot of content there. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, so we are, we are standing uh, uh, in front of this particular trailer. What do we got this time? This is a 1962 Airstream Globetrotter. Back then, the length dictated the name and vice versa. So if you just said 19 footer, or if you just said Globetrotter, people knew the length. Right. And this was actually born in Santa Fe Springs. Because back in the day, Airstream had two places. They built them in California and they built them in Ohio. Why Globetrotter? Is, it, is there a bounciness to it? Uh, with, if, if you uh, don't load it correctly, it kind of bounces around because it's single axle. So you can get very, very bouncy on a oh, single yeah, axle. Yeah. So you got to know what you're doing. Yeah. Maybe that's where they got the name. And so what are some interesting features about this one as opposed to the Holiday House or some of the other ones? So this has the iconic Airstream shape. Yeah. So it's, it's a rounded uh, design just like they are now. And what makes these different from other trailers besides obviously the external skin is the internal ribs. Those are aluminum as well. Uh -huh. And that's why Airstreams last so long. 62 is, longer, is older than I am and this thing's still on the road and it tows beautifully, it still turns heads. And it's uh, heavily aerodynamic. So. And it's, uh, it's very aerodynamic, just like a stream of air, like an Airstream. Yeah, well, yeah. novel idea for a name, great. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look inside. Okay. Uh, it's a very um, uh, utilitarian design, it makes a lot of sense, it's very efficient. On this side is the kitchen, stove, oven, double sink, refrigerator freezer this tilts up for extra surface over on this side we have a couch which is very very comfortable which makes out into a bed uh, so two people could sleep there if you're tall like me you have to sleep on this side otherwise your feet hit the bookcase I think they specifically made this one for you because you are exactly the perfect height it's very comforting to know that considering I wasn't born when this was made <laughs> but that was very nice for them to think of me right here this dinette makes into a bed so two small kids can sleep here so really you can have four adults sleep very very comfortably it has a toilet a sink and it has a uh, full uh, shower tub back there nice which is very very rare for a 19 foot trailer so Airstream is the only manufacturer that's been in continuous production with the exception of World War II since 1936 back then there were a lot of people making trailers but none of those people except Airstream are still making trailers Airstream was started by a guy named Wally Byam. He was a, a shepherd up in Oregon, and he went to Stanford and got a got a degree. And then he started building trailers in California. He moved down. He moved down to Southern California, and started building trailers. And then he would take these caravans with the people who bought the trailers. And so if you if you go and look and research, you'll see you'll see Cape Town to Cairo which was a caravan. You'll see caravans into South America. And he took all these Wally Byam caravans, and he did that so he could test the strength of his trailers and new innovations. And if they survived the trip, then he would adopt them into the new designs. Kind of like what Jeep does with the yeah. Rubicon trail. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Would you Just want this guy to it. sell you a trailer? I don't know. It looks a little shifty. <laughs> There's all this period correct stuff in here. So the thing about vintage trailering is really getting into it, folks will dress in period correct clothing. And it's also a lot of fun to have period correct accessories. So everything in this trailer has period correct accessories from the 50s or 60s. And the fun is going to these shows and displaying stuff. Yeah. Folks who come up, the spectators just go bananas because they say, oh, I remember that when I was a kid or my grandma had one of those. And everything you see, accessory-wise, really isn't that expensive. It's stuff that was in your grandma's house or, or an aunt's house, and people have these out on estate sales or garage sales, and it really uh, is pretty cheap. Like this, for example. Black Flag Bug Killer. <laughs> When's the last time you saw one of those? 61? <laughs> yeah, something like that. The other thing you need is a Dremel. It's not just a sander. 
it's also a massager. <laughs> Isn't that comforting to know that? That you can have an electric power tool that can massage you uh, to help you, uh, you know, get de-stress. De this is the vintage trailer show that's going to be coming up here at the Murphy Saturday, June 24th. Make sure you hit that. That's going to be awesome. The movie car I told you guys about has shown up, but we're doing way too much stuff today. So we're actually going to have to do that tomorrow. So this vlog will continue. But before we leave the Murphy, I'm going to drive something. I'm gonna drive something very cool. I'm just gotta find Kathy first. get out of this thing. Kathy's gonna try to get out of her harness. Let's see yeah. how it works. Well, I think, oh. This has gotta pop up, no? It's gotta go down, no? It's gotta. Come on, use some muscle. Muscle is what yep. it takes? Yep, muscle. Oh, ah. Yep. <laughs> Pro that I am. That's about it for today's vlog, but uh, there's way too much content because this guy is here now. Uh, this is Mark Truman. I'm, I'm kind of shaking. My hand's shaking a little bit. Sorry about that. Just finished driving that you, you incredible hot rod. You, that or you need more sweet. Sorry. So stay tuned. This is to be continued and we're going to go drive your car next. Okay. Sure. 